Nice to have you back, family. I want us to talk about battles in our lives. I'm talking about both spiritual and physical battles. We are going to see how we can defeat the enemies of our lives spiritually and physically. We are going to motivate ourselves with few ways of God. And then we take some prayer points that will help us to defeat our enemies at any time, spiritually and physically, in our personal lives, in our families, in our businesses, in our ministries. These are the things we are going to learn today and how we can pray and defeat the enemies of our lives. And some of the prayer points I will share with us today are very effective to fight the enemies of our lives. Every single word that will come out of this video is going to be powerful. It's going to be a weapon of warfare. So get yourself prepared. Don't get distracted. And listen to this video to the end. You never can tell when your own word will come from this video that will help you fight the enemies of your life and that of your family. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, amen. So let's start by getting to know what spiritual battle is all about. And this is my own definition of spiritual battle. It is a fight in the spirit that you cannot see, but you can only feel the storm in your life. And it's the storm that will make you understand that you're fighting a battle. And those storms could be sickness, it could be poverty, it could be lack, it could be spiritual slumber, it could also be marital challenges and many other life challenges and as we all know that there's nothing that happens in this life without it happening first in the spiritual realm so everything you're facing in your life today has already happened in the spiritual realm that is why most times you hear people say the spiritual controls the physical and that is quite true if you read first corinthians Chapter 15, verse 46. We see what the Bible talks about the spiritual controlling the physical. Now let's read that. It says, everything has an order. The body is not animated first by the spiritual, but the physical. Then the spiritual becomes its life-giving source. So now that we have confirmed with the word of God that the spiritual controls the physical, that's why we have to be ready at all times to fight spiritual battles. This is when we have to put on the armor of God completely so that the enemy will not defeat us. Read Ephesians 6 verse 11. Then you see more about the armor of God, what you have to do and how you have to prepare yourself. Read it down to verse 23, which is the last verse of this chapter. And ask the Holy Spirit to help you interpret it very well. I would love to say that it is important for us to understand the severity of the battle we face every day or we fight every day. Mostly the spiritual part of it. Like I said earlier. The spiritual controls the physical. There is nothing that happens in your life today that has not happened first in the spiritual. And I would say it's very easy for us to lose the sight of the impact that these spiritual battles can have in our lives. However, it could be very dangerous when we forget to equip ourselves with the word of God. And then we allow the enemy to take control in our lives. So that is why I'm making this video for you 
and also for me because I'm also learning even as I'm making this video I'm also learning I speak to you and afterwards I sit back and I listen to the video again and I get something out of it and I also benefit from the videos I make and this is why this video is important so that you know how to prepare yourself both spiritually and physically and not letting the devil come into your life and so tasks that will be somehow difficult to pull them out of your life. And one thing you should also know is that the moment you accept Christ as your Lord and personal Savior, your battle starts. Your battle starts at that time because now you are denying the devil. Or Satan so he must fight back so now brethren let's get some serious prayer points you know as one of the weapons we are going to use to fight both spiritual and physical battles our first prayer point is oh Lord arise and fight every battle that is stronger than me in Jesus mighty name amen Every prayer point I will declare in your life, I also want you to repeat them and personalize them. But the Lord will show you a way out of your struggles today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And I declare any power that has been assigned to drive you out of your promised land, I command them to die by fire right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I declare now every power that snatched the glory of your parents, those powers will not be able to snatch your own glory because I command the fire of God to consume them all in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And I pray for you right now, anything that is built into your foundation to squander your destiny, I command them right now to die by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, amen. I pray for you now. Every evil voice asking you to carry the evil weight of your parents, I command them right now to be quiet in the spiritual and also in the physical. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, amen. And I declare now, every strange power that is performing strange things in your life and in your family, I command the fire of God to locate them right now and consume them all to ashes. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, amen. I pray for you today that you become a prayer warrior who fights and wins wars. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. I pray for you today that the almighty God, the great in battle will arise and guard you from every unknown attacks in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And I pray for you today, every long-term fight or battle in your life must give way now to your victory. And I pray for you now that every adversary of good in your life must be consumed right now by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I pray for you. Every filthy covenant. Speaking against your destiny. Be destroyed right now by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And I pray for you right now. Every force that pushes you back. Whenever you wish to move forward. Be destroyed by fire right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And I declare, no weapon of the enemy, form or fashion against you, nor your family, shall prosper. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, amen. And I pray for you, every evil seed sown in your infancy, let the Father of God consume them right now, in the spiritual and the physical, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, amen. And I pray for you right now, everything that the enemy is using to fight you, those things will turn around and frustrate them 
right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. On this last prayer point of today, I revoke and I nullify every witchcraft manipulation in your body and in your family. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, amen. My brothers and my sisters, with these few prayer points, I want to assure you that you are completely free from every attack of the enemy. The ones you know and the ones you don't know. The ones you see and the ones you don't see. Today you have conquered your enemies. Go and celebrate your freedom in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. All you have to do is just to believe and have faith that you are free. Because who the Son of God has set free is free indeed. Hallelujah. Amen. Subscribe and stay connected. Remember, I love you, but God loves you more. Bye for now.